What's going on guys? Today's song is going to be Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. This one's just got two quick parts, so it shouldn't take you that long to learn. If you're a complete beginner, you're going to want to start with my free beginner course right here. And for everyone else, make sure to check out my top 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, here's the most recognizable part, the intro and the verse. Okay, so there's that main riff. This one is pretty tricky to get the right hand picking accuracy. That's going to be the thing that's going to trip you up the most here. But it just kind of takes practice and repetition and starting slow to get the hang of. So we're basically going to alternate between a low note and your second finger on the third fret of the second string. So we're starting off and we're going to do eight back and forths on the open G string to the third fret on that second finger. And you're just going to go back and forth eight times. just on a nice steady rhythm. Then from there, your second one is gonna be this third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then the same alternation. And then the last one, you're gonna put your first finger on that third fret of the fifth string, and then do the exact same alternation. And there you go, that's basically all there is to the riff. So then to finish it off, you're gonna go back to this open third string. For once again, another eight repetitions. So that's basically all there is to this riff. Just back and forth, try and keep your picking nice and steady and even. Try and make your notes as similar volume as you can so it's kinda nice and smooth. This one's gonna trip you up the most is this far jump there because you're going between four different strings so it might take you a little bit to get used to going back and forth between that accurately took me a few tries to get down too so don't worry too much if you do but that's basically all there is to it so you're alternating here eight times then here then there and then back to there and there's that section all right, so now jumping on to the second part of the song, which is the chorus. And this one's gonna follow the same rhythm and a similar kind of progression for the section as the verse did. Alright, so that one's not too complicated. We're basically just doing 16 down strums on each chord before switching. So we're going to start on a G chord and then do a 16 strums, basically exactly how the verse was laid out, just following that rhythm. And the one thing you're going to want to try and do is accent every other strum if you can. So that just means make it a little bit louder. Nothing dramatic, but just slightly louder on every other strum to capture that downbeat. So there's that section. You can hear how it's just slightly louder. Just give a little bit of an accent, nothing too dramatic. Then we're gonna move to this D slash F sharp that you can see right here. This A string doesn't actually play out, but it's pretty easy to mute it just kinda by placing your finger there. So it's not a difficult mute to do. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing. Then you're going to do the exact same thing on a C chord. And just like in our verse, switch back and finish off on that G. And that's all there is to it. That's the chorus. You put those four together. G, D slash F sharp, C, then back to G, and you've got the chorus.
And there you go. If you can play those parts, you can play this entire song. See, I told you it shouldn't take you too long to get it all. If you learned something from this video, please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss my newest posts and you learn guitar a lot faster. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.